Hey, welcome back to Revamped Outdoors. Today we are going to use a 3D printer to have an ATV meet the minimum state requirements for Wisconsin public travel. And if there's anything this channel excels at, it's minimum requirements. <music> had a pretty productive weekend up here uh the old man called me up and he said hey uh, i want something for ice fishing so i don't have to walk all over these lakes i'd like uh, a machine in which i could tow my equipment around and i said uh, i know the feeling i've had quite a few different all-terrain vehicles of my own and i decided uh yeah sure i'll help you out finding something his budget was at or below 500 dollars. if you are a person that has ever been in the market for a utility vehicle. It's very difficult to find anything in running working order for under $500. So you're left with basically uh, dropping wheels. There's just That's just how it works. The more wheels something has, usually the more it is. So uh, you just keep dropping wheels until you got something that's still useful. So something utilitarian like ice fishing, you drop wheels until you get to a three-wheeler. But these were produced by Honda. They are three-wheelers. People call them death machines. Some people are, for some reason, under the impression they are illegal. Uh, they are not illegal. Uh, they're plenty safe. My thing is, you always want to drive a three-wheeler like a three-wheeler, right? You jump on it, you think it's kind of like a motorcycle. It's not. You jump on it, you think it's kind of like a four-wheeler, or also known as a quad. It's not. It's a three-wheeler. It's got three wheels, so it's kind of a mix of the two. As long as you're cognizant of that, I think they're a very perfect utility vehicle. So that's that's the end of my rant on three wheelers. I got to thinking. I said, every time this happens, I get a machine. I run it for a long time. Then he gets a machine. His machine's always better than mine. So not to be outdone. I sold the 200s. I mean, I sold it to a guy. I haven't sold it yet. It's still still at the house, but the, the guy wants it. Found another guy selling a 200 ES Big Red. So that has reverse and electric start on the old interwebs. Went and bought that. So we had a two for one weekend three-wheeler buy. Pretty cool. Uh, it's a weird flex. The thing a lot of people overlook in the state of Wisconsin is that you have to have a visible license plate with a certain number of of restrictions on it so it has to be a certain size and width I will post those here now it has to have a certain size lettering post those here now so it has to be black letters on a white background before I was doing 3d printing when I came uh, to live in Wisconsin I had somebody print this out for me on a metal license plate and at the time I wasn't very happy with the DNR for having this uh, registration rule so I, I had the company print a little extra something on the bottom of the license plate. But we don't have to do that anymore now, do we? We have 3D printers. And I have some white and black filament. So this is basically it. This is the final. It has very small faces and just a small fillet. Uh, nothing really crazy here. Um, it's very, very, very simple design. And I'll show you how it breaks down. We take our bodies off. This is just a sketch. So I took the main outline, made it a rectangle of the size that I needed. Then I just basically put these two points in here that were 1.5 inches apart to meet the registration uh, requirements. Then I went through and I picked the font that I liked and I made sure that font would fit in this box. I centered the font and I made sure they were 1.5 tall to meet the requirement. Then I just threw in some uh, circles right here, evenly spaced from either side. And then all you have to do is come in and press pull out these individually. This text is added with the sketch text function. So you just add it into the sketch and you're good to go. So like for instance, this, then you can set the height to your specific size you want then you can pick a font that would fit in there and you're good to go so this is very very simple if you're used to fusion 360 at all you can see how this kind of comes together i made it four millimeters tall let's get rid of this one i made it four millimeters tall and then for the 
letters then what I did is I made those six millimeters tall that'll be a new body and there you go that's how it ends up then you can come in here and do what you want so you can fill it these edges fill it these edges fill it these edges however you want I think I did maybe like two millimeters like that then you can come around here select these edges fill it those as well I don't know maybe two yeah there we go just that fast we have it all set up now so what I did then is just a filament change at four millimeters I switched over to black filament from printing with white and this is what we end up with legal beagle ATV for ice fishing I thought I thought I'd be slick and do that in hope you enjoyed it I hope it got some creative juices going in your mind uh, it's pretty very you know pretty very pretty very get out into your garage your workspace your patio your front porch the hallway of your apartment building a she shed a shed a garage uh, I said that already maybe a workshop if you work somewhere that you do a lot of stuff that you could do maybe uh, stay after work a little bit let your boss uh, front the electricity bill for a little bit I didn't say that I you know maybe sign off with your boss first or something but hopefully it got you inspired to think about things a little bit different some of the 3d printing we can use in our outdoor lives so if you enjoyed the video maybe consider subscribing I don't know maybe give it a like I'm glad we're uh, building the community here that people will feel free to comment whatever if you have criticism for it throw it down in the comments below I will take that criticism and I'll try and prove the videos because if nobody watches them I'm just some crazy guy talking to a camera in my spare bedroom office wife's makeup room and then it's just sad I mean this is moderately sad already but then it's just until the next one keep your amps up and your filament dry